Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to get it started with some of the UCC tools and services. Now, after the installation of the database and installing the base software, you'll see that some of the components of the UCC on the desktop of your computer or server. Now, it is important that you get familiar with that because those tools will be required to start your router installation or logger installation and so and so. So this is my ICM Site A server which has uh, the base software installed based on lab number four. And once the base software is installed, you will have a kind of a, a, a dialog box with all the necessary steps that are required to complete. Now on the Site B server, I will have something very similar to it. Now at this stage, both server has a contact center enterprise base software installed. Now, neither of this server is site A, site B, or logo, or router, or anything. All it is, it's just simply a server with ICM software installed with various tools. Now this is the dialog box, uh, installation dialog box that you can see, where you can run a uh, shortcut to some of the components that are required for you to uh, deploy the solution. So the first thing we're going to do in the following labs is it's going to create instance in Active Directory. So we're going to run the Domain Manager. So you can click Run Domain Manager here, or you can access the Run Domain Manager by going to the UCCE Tools. So if you click on this, you'll have the Domain Manager there as well. Now, once the Domain Manager is done, then we will uh, do a set up the instance on uh, this machine based on the, uh, what the instance that is created using the domain manager. Now to do that, we can click on the HTTPS colon slash slash local host slash setup, or I can press, uh, click on this little icon right here, which is says Unified CCE Web Setup. Now while, through that web installation, we're gonna go through adding instance and, you know, or uh, logger router. So, Various components can be configured. For example, we will configure administration and data server. We will configure a logger. And then we will configure uh, uh, what do you call it, router as well, a network gateway if needed. Now, <clears throat> you can also set up PG. So these are some of the steps we're gonna follow. And usually if you close this, you will you, you can always go back uh, using access some of this utility by going to this particular folder that has all the necessary um, uh, tools. Now on the start